For American Mahjong, the Charleston is half the game. If you make the right decisions at the right time, you can set yourself up for success for the rest of the game. In this video, I'm going to do an exercise I call Charleston Modeling to practice decision making and timing. They go hand in hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to say that we are the dealer for this exercise. We're going to take 14 random tiles each time and then create a mock Charleston. Right across left, left across right. This is going to mimic our drawn hand. Let's see what we can do with these tiles. For these tiles, we have ones, a red dragon. I'm thinking one, three, five, little odds, or like numbers with ones. So let's pass these three. If you get a joker, just exchange it. There's a one. With news on the card for 2018, passing two wins together, not recommended. Here we have some news potential. Let's see. Ones. Hmm. We could do north and south with ones, maybe. We need to give something up here, though. I think I would give up an east. And let's work with like numbers. North, north and south with ones, maybe. Let's give up that west. Maybe we could make this a little better by putting an odd in there. There's a one. Let's pass these three. Fives. Let's pass those three. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I hope nobody would ever pass a pair like that. Let's pass these three. Let's pass these three. Optional cross. I don't think there's anything in here. We'll just go through the motions. Four discards. We're in between like numbers with flowers, like numbers with dragons, or even north and south with ones. Lots of options. Four discards. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of those discards. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write in the comment section random pull one and what you would do. Let's go on to the next one. Jokers. I'm thinking a two, four, six, eight hand. We could maybe even do a quint. Let's pass these three. There's a two. We have tiles we can pass. Although here we have a east and a west. I'm thinking we could maybe play a quint. 
Let's give up the six because we could do consecutive west. There is a quint with a wind. Let's give up the four and the east. North, eight, seven. I'm thinking the first quint with the wind, a number, and a dragon. East, ooh, and a two. Let's pass these three. Six, eight, five, we can pass those. Dragons. Okay, let's see. Two, three, west, dragons. I would not pass two dragons together. Okay, so I'm thinking I would switch to like numbers with twos. Like numbers with twos and dragons. And I would pass one blind. So we have three discards for like numbers with dragons. Well, four discards, really, because we may or may not use the dragon. I would just hold them all and see what comes in. Really, if we get the right tiles at the right time, we could still play the consecutive run quint. Either the second from the bottom, or we could even switch potentially to the wind quint. I would just start by discarding that and see what comes in. Either consecutive run quint, like numbers with twos and dragons is most likely. Really, this probably can go away. Okay, we're going to do this one more time. Okay, for this one, news, maybe even the news pair hand, and I would sacrifice a joker for a pair hand. Let's see here. Or we could do north and south with sevens. Let's pass these three. Here's a seven. Let's give up on the news pair hand and play north and south with sevens. So we can pass. Let's break this up. Actually, that's fine, just like that. If you get a joker, just exchange it. Oh, look at these flowers. Maybe we could do the news concealed hand with these flowers now. And we have a pair of East. Let's pass these three. We can recover a seven later. If you get a joker, exchange it. Okay, we got another flower. Let's see. And we have two sevens. Let's see now. We need to make the most of this. North and south with sevens. I would not pass a flower. Okay, we're going to go back. We are on, we went right across left. We're going into second left. So we're a little stuck at the moment. I really want to keep going. I would not stop the Charleston. I would risk passing like numbers to continue the Charleston. Look at these sevens. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Let's switch back. Oh. 
Okay, let's give up those and switch to sevens. Maybe we'll get them back. Here we go. Okay, we have tiles we can pass. Here's a red. That's the right dragon for like numbers. Let's break up the north and pass these three. Maybe we'll get a seven back. The seven crack would be nice. We got a seven. And we have four discards. So I would play five discards, like numbers with sevens and red dragon. This would be the first like number hand. We could Kong here, Kong here, or save up with the red. All right, let's do this again. That was horrible. Connor, you can come through. Okay, we have a pair of flowers, pair of sevens, pair of eights. I'm thinking consecutive run. Consecutive run. Now we could maybe play an addition hand. Let's hold consecutive run. We can't keep it all. Let's pass the five and the two, one of each suit. Let's focus on six, seven, eight, nine at the category level. If you get a joker, just exchange it. We have tiles we can pass. I would hold that dragon. Let's see, seven, eight, Let's pass these three. There's an eight and a nine, a five. Okay, seven, eight, seven, eight. Let's see, seven, eight, five, nine. We almost have a consecutive run here. Let's pass these three. Although we could use this green in here. Let's give up the five. get a joker exchange it oh a pair of fives okay five six seven eight five six seven eight let's see like numbers with eights maybe we would need the red or just keep all the dragons let's break up the pairs Eight, one of each suit. So now we have seven, eight. Maybe we can get the seven back. Let's pass these three. There's an eight, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. I think we could probably give up a dragon. Let's give up the green. Oh, fives. So I'd say we're in between like numbers with eights and flowers or like numbers with eights and the dragon. I would just hold all of these. We could maybe even play a year hand with the one here and the eight. I would start by discarding those and just stay at the category level, either like numbers with eights or a year hand. American Mahjong is very situational. 
You never know what you're going to get. You could even get a pair in the Charleston because you never know what level of defense your opponents are going to be playing. So stay flexible. Play at the category level for as long as possible to give yourself the greatest flexibility. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston modeling for American Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.